day everyone welcome to our vlog number two so here we are going to talk about our article on a rocket propulsion you are familiar with both solid and liquid propulsion systems i'm curious whether you're familiar with the concept of a hybrid propellant in this vlog we are going to discuss the combustion properties of a skeleton polymer reinforced paraffin waxed fuel grain for a hybrid rocket motor the first order of business is to define a hybrid motor so the term hybrid rocket motor is often described to use as a rocket propulsion system that employs both liquid oxidizer and a solid fuel as its primary propellants. Hybrid rocket motors have several advantages over traditional solid and liquid propellants such as greater safety during storage, transportation and testing, the ability to control the amount of thrust output, and the flexibility to restart motor by either closing or opening the oxidizer bulb. The regression rate during the burning of paraffin-based fuel is 3 to 5 times greater than that of conventional hybrid rocket motor applications, making them a potential and inexpensive option. So what is a fuel regression rate? So the pace at which the fuel surface recedes during a fire is known as the fuel regression rate. Our article concludes that the mechanical characteristics of a paraffin waxed fuel may be improved by embedding a skeleton polymer into it while the benefit of a higher regression rate is maintained. However, paraffin fuel on its own lacks the necessary mechanical strength and so cannot fulfill the criteria in such application. As a result of advancement in additive manufacturing technology, a new strategy has been presented to deal with this problem. The mechanical strength and roughness of fuel grains may be improved by embedding additive manufactured produced resin skeletons with tailored geometric structures into paraffin waxed fuels without compromising the high regression rate of paraffin waxed fuels. Seven frequently used polymers were tested to determine the optimum material for paraffin fuel grain. As you can see in this picture, the paraffin wax and the polymer skeleton is combined to create a polymer reinforced paraffin fuel grain. Then it proceeds to the fuel grain combustion optical diagnostic or static fire test to test the combustion efficiency of the proposed polymer reinforced paraffin fuel grain in this work. So skeletal polymers are used to increase the mechanical strength of the fuel grain throughout the whole combustion process without losing the benefit of high regression rate of paraffin wax. As at issue here is a proposal for a star-shaped paraffin fuel grain that is reinforced with polymer. The fuel grain is primarily produced in two steps. So first is 3D printing of polymer backbone and the subsequent vacuum casting. Now, let's talk about solid fuel tubular combustion. It is defined as the optically accessible gas oxygen solid fuel tubular combustor that has been innovatively designed to visualize the combustion process of fuel grains in gaseous oxygen flow. Shown in Figure 3, the combustor consists of a stainless steel injection head, an afterburner, and a cylindrical quartz combustion chamber with internal diameter of 40 mm and length of 200 mm. Previous investigations show that swirling injection can significantly increase the regression rate of HTB fuel grains. With this, two types of injections have been studied to clarify the effect of oxygen injections. Figure 3a, swirling oxygen injection there are four tangential slits, circumferentially equispaced on the internal combustion, allowing tangential injection to generate a swirl flow of gaseous oxygen. The swirl number of injection flow, SW, is based on the geometry. SW is about 44.4. For figure 3b, direct injection combustion is the gaseous oxygen that is injected into a flow straightener filled with ceramic beads by four inlets and then passes a perforated plate to the quartz combustion chamber. Now, the flow rate of the oxygen was regulated by a mass flow controller. A displaceable ignition spark was implemented into the combustor and synchronized with a high-speed camera. And this camera is Phantom VEO 4K. Let us now proceed to lab-scale hybrid rocket motor. The ignition of the motor is achieved by a methane and oxygen rapid mix ignition swirling torch controlled by a spark plug. It consists of three major parts, 
the pipework, controls, and instrumentation. For the pipework, three fluids are used, such as oxygen, serving as the oxidizer for hybrid rocket motor and as the oxidizer for ignition torch systems, methane as the fuel for ignition torch, and nitrogen as the combustion chamber purge, quenching the combustion after a test or in the event of test abort. You can see in figure 4, it shows the experimental hybrid rocket motor configuration. The system is controlled in distance by a sequential control program. The length of the main combustion chamber of the hybrid rocket motor is 240 mm. Length of the fore and aft ends of combustions are 20 mm and 40 mm. The outer diameter of the solid fuel gain is 70 mm and the oxygen flow rate was regulated and measured by a mass flow rate controller, which is Bronckhorst F-206A1. So next, I will be discussing the properties of skeletal polymers, more specifically their thermal properties, mechanical properties, and lastly, flame propagation speed that was observed after a series of experiments were done. To start it off, the mechanical behavior of the seven different polymers is studied through the conduction of tensile experiments, which is one of the most simple and widely used mechanical tests. It is used to find out how strong a material is and also how much it can be stretched before breaking. To be more specific, it is used to determine the yield strength, ultimate tensile strength, ductility, strain hardening characteristics, Young's modulus, and the Poisson's ratio. From the tensile test, a set of stress strain curves for the same strain rate of 1.67 times 10 to the negative 2 is obtained. So as we can see, resin 1 was found to have the highest tensile strength value compared with other polymers followed with the ABS polymer, and moreover, it can be observed that nylon polymers have lower tensile strength than resin and ABS. To be more specific, the raw measurement data can now be seen on the screen. Since the main objective of using polymer-reinforced paraffin fuel grade is to turn the brittle behavior of the pure paraffin into a tactile one while maintaining a certain tensile strength, among the various polymer material tested in the present work, ABS has the most favorable mechanical properties considering its relatively high tensile strength and ductility. Now, to evaluate the thermal properties of the skeleton materials, thermogravimetric and derivative thermogravimetric analysis experiments were conducted under nitrogen and under air atmospheric pressure conditions. The results of the analysis experiments are as follows. It is observed that except for the glass fiber reinforced nylon, up to 80% of the weight of all the components of the other six polymers are decomposed at temperatures between 140 degrees Celsius and 470 degrees Celsius. For the glass fiber reinforced nylon, it remains 40% by weight of the component under decomposed, possibly due to the indissoluble glass fiber. The black nylons decompose at a relatively higher temperatures, meanwhile it decomposed rapidly and almost all of its components decomposed after temperatures higher than 500 degrees Celsius. The next property of the skeletal polymers is their flame propagation speed. To measure this property, the 3D printed polymeric rods that have a 2 mm diameter were placed at the center of a cylindrical quartz glass tube. The oxygen gas as the oxidizing agent was then supplied into the tube featuring four inlets from the bottom where ceramic beads were filled as a flow straightener. The rods were then ignited at the top and the flame will propagate quickly from one end to another. In the figure presented, we can see the flame propagation speed of different polymer rods under the oxygen gas environment. The flame propagation speed is measured by accounting the distance between every two instantaneous images and divided by the time interval. The final flame propagation speed was obtained by averaging the instantaneous speed of each two time adjacent frames. Among all the polymer rods, it was observed that the flame propagation speed of nylon polymers was significantly higher when compared to resins and ABS polymers. Nylon polymers flame propagation speed was measured at 1.891 cm per second followed by the glass fiber reinforced nylon at 1.397 cm per second, followed by resin, resin 2, resin 3, and lastly resin 1, with 0.691 cm per second. So as we can clearly observe, the nylon and the glass fiber reinforced nylon polymers have a much rougher surface compared as to the other polymer rods. 
This surface increases the contact area with oxygen, thereby resulting in a faster flame propagation speed. This rough, porous-like structural surface could be due to the intrinsic properties of different printing techniques wherein the nylon and the glass fiber reinforced nylon polymers were printed through selective laser sintering, while the resin and ABS polymers were printed by stereolithography. stereolithography. From this, we can conclude that the SLS technique has a disadvantage of having a poor surface finish while the SLA technique produces the most favorable surface finish of all AM techniques. Now, to investigate the combustion performance of the polymer reinforced paraffin wax fuel grain, a series of experiments were performed using the solid fuel tubular combustor with two types of fuel grains, the star-shaped skeleton reinforced paraffin wax fuel grain and the pure ABS fuel grain. Both fuel grains' performance were studied based on the tangential swirling injection and direct oxygen injection. As shown in Figure 11, the combustion process of the ABS fuel grain is a typical diffusion flame regime. Combustion dominantly occurs in the turbulent boundary layer where the solid fuel directly glassified and mixed with the oxygen inflow. It is to be noted, however, that a section of the combustion product adheres to the fuel grain surface and accumulates gradually during the combustion process, which potentially affects its combustion performance. As for the direct oxygen injection, the general combustion regime is controlled by the turbulence flow and vortex detachment as illustrated in Figure 11, Section A. Due to high concentration of oxygen, a high-intensity combustion region is observed at the inlet of the combustion chamber. As the oxygen is gradually consumed, the consumption of fuel grain decreases as well. This leads to fuel grain regression rate inconsistency along the axis direction. As for swirling injection, as illustrated in Figure 11, Section B, significant difference in combustion regime is observed. The flames are more structured, acting as premixed laminar flame of gaseous fuel with a clear striated flame on the grain surface. The direction of the striated flame indicated that a depression region is found in a solid fuel grain swirling injection combustion chamber. In comparison to the pure ABS fuel grain combustion performance, it was observed that the combustion process of skeleton reinforced paraffin wax fuel grain greatly differs as shown in Figure 12. In general, the combustion process of the polymer reinforced paraffin wax fuel grain is dominated by the skeleton structure which is observed to effectively enhance the mechanical strength of paraffin fuel grains. Between the direct oxygen injection shown in Figure 12 Section A and the tangential swirling injection depicted in Figure 12 Section B, the distribution of the main combustion zone differs. In direct oxygen injection, the flame is generally distributed symmetrically all along the combustion process. Meanwhile, in swirling injection, the combustion mainly occurs at the upper side of the fuel grain and seriated flame is generated at the end of the combustion process. Regression Rate Determination To examine the regression rate of polymer reinforced paraffin fuel grains in swirling and direct injection circumstances, regression rate measurements were done in a range of oxygen mass flow rate. The regression rate equation is therefore defined as the following. In this work, regression rate was measured by time average weighted technique, which is the following. In figure 13, swirling injection was a large, has a large regression rate than direct injection. Figure 14 on the other hand shows each condition's exponential curve fittings. The lab-scaled hybrid rocket motor uh, was also tested using a static fire test. In figure 15, it shows the oxidizer and mass flow rate, the combustion chamber, and truss with time. Quick ignition and consistent comb combustion pressure were reported in all experiments using the polymer reinforced paraffin fuel. Figure 15 shows poly the polymer reinforced par paraffin fuel grain before and after the test, the fire test, right? Due to their inconsistent regression rates, avoid formed between the skeleton and the fire paraffin fuels. In figure 16 and 17, the theoretical, the theoretical adiabatic flame temperatures and velocity of pure paraffin wax, APS, and polymer reinforced paraffin fuel grain versus oxidized their fuel ratio are determined. It shows that ABS has a higher adiabatic flame temperature at lower oxygen to fuel ratio, while three fuel grains have similar results 
at greater oxygen to fuel ratio. The ABS fuel has a maximum velocity at lean fuel situations and the lowest velocity at rich fuel conditions. The polymerine for paraffin exhibits intermediate values between the ABS and the paraffin wax fuel. Figure 18 compares the measured and calculated characteristic velocities of the polymer reinforced paraffin fuel gain. Also displayed are the literature results of Austin and Pham. The combustion efficiency of the polymer reinforced paraffin fuel gain is 75 to 90%, which is greater than the literature data. The reduced combustion efficiency of test number one is partially attributed to the nitrogen purge flow. The N2 purge flow entrained some paraffin droplets from the combustion chamber, resulting in a greater mass flow rate and a lower observed characteristic velocity. It reduces the combustion efficiency, and Table 4 lists the measured and theoretical velocity values. Uh, it is found out from the study that, first, among the printed skeleton polymer materials examined in the present work, ABS is a potential choice due to its good combustion and mechanical properties. Second, liquefied paraffin-based fuel grains burns differently from non-liquefied fuel grains such as ABS. Due to the extrainment and shearing of oxidizer fuel, paraffin liquid droplets and columns can be seen during the polymer reinforced paraffin fuel burning, leading to a higher aggression rate and enhanced mixing efficiency. Lastly, for third, polymer skeleton improves the paraffin wax fuel grain's mechanical strength. The polymer reinforced paraffin fuel presented in the work displays better combustion efficiency, which is greater than 80% in fuel rich comp situations. And that's all for our vlog, and thank you for watching.